Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Let us uh, start this lecture with a thought process from Benjamin Franklin, who says a house is not a home unless it contains food and fire for the mind as well as the body, which is uh, quite true and commensurate with the thought process of uh, Indian scriptures. And uh, let us recall what we learned. In the last lecture, we are trying to uh, derive a relationship for burning velocity and in that we invoke uh, basically all the equations of uh, conservation of mass, momentum and energy and spaces, but um, we looked at the basically the energy equation and uh, mass conservation and we have also found that momentum uh, conservation equation need not to be taken for one dimensional steady flow, uh, because it is a change in pressure is approximately equal to 0. <coughs> And if you look at, uh, I had derived uh, expression for uh, energy and uh, that is basically rho V x d C P T by d x is equal to k g d t square by d x square plus m dot triple dash f delta S c this I had mentioned as equation number 6. Okay. So, uh, later on what we did, we basically uh, looked at the for the preheat zone. In the case of preheat zone, the reaction rate is 0. So, therefore, we neglect the reaction rate or the heat release rate and then we uh, applied the boundary condition arrive at this expression that is d t by d x ignition is equal to m dot double dash C p by k g into t ignition minus t u. Uh, I had given ele equation 11, if I have not given you can take this as a equation number 11. Right, to be consistent. Now, for the reaction zone, we will have to consider. For reaction zone, uh, as the name indicates, reaction zone means you know reaction will be very important and conduction also will be important, then which term will be uh, not important? What can be approximate? Any idea? Let us. Uh, a temperature profile and this is my uh, what you call let us say this is my T ignition, this is T f, this is T u and this is basically x is equal to 0, x is equal to infinity minus infinity and uh, this is my reaction rate you can say f right. <coughs> and we know that uh, d t by d x is equal to 0 here and similarly d t by d x is equal to 0. These are the boundary condition what we have seen. In the reaction zone you can see that T and uh, which is your reaction zone? This portion is your reaction zone, right? And this portion is your preheat zone. We have already discussed this thing, I am just uh, repeating it. So, in the reaction zone, T i g is 
approximately as closer I can say to T f right. So, therefore, I can write down d t by d x is equal to 0 approximately right this is not exactly and this is again an approximation ok. As a result we can say that C p by t d x rho v x is approximately 0 right. Then equation 6 becomes k g d t square by d x is equal to minus f delta s c. And we will have to uh, basically integrate this equation right. This I can uh, say as uh, equation 12 what I will do I will just multiply it by d t by d x here d t by d x here right. And uh, I will have to integrate this equation. So, I can say this is d x d x. So, uh, therefore, I can write down here as um, d t by d x whole square right d by d x d x and this is uh, equal to basically what x is equal to 0 to x is equal to infinity right. And similarly here uh, and that itself I can uh, write down basically half d t by d x x is equal to 0 minus d t by d x x is equal to infinity right is if you look at Oh, sorry, this will be infinity and this will be 0. And uh, by using the boundary condition, if you look at the boundary condition is basically what is that x is equal to 0 d t by d x at is equal to d t by d x at ignition right and x is equal to infinity or I can write down here x is equal to infinity d t by d x is equal to 0 right. So, if I will use this one x is equal to infinity this will be 0 right yes or no and we will I will take now the right hand side right hand side is basically uh, I can say that is uh, delta s c by k g ok. I have taken k g from left hand side to right, right hand side in the equation 12 and uh, that is triple dash f integration d t this is basically t i z right at x is equal to 0 t is equal to t i z and x is equal to infinity t is equal to what t f right yes or no make sense. And because uh, the uh, and if you look at the whole reaction rate from this region this is the portion of things reaction rate which is negligible instead of integrating from t ignition to t f i can write down as approximately equal to delta sc by kg t u 
by t f m dot triple dash f d t. Can I write down this? Because I am saying this is very small quantities as compared to this reaction rate, this is the major one, right. So, therefore, instead of uh, taking from here, I can take from there. This is very important, uh, this thing you should keep in mind, okay. Are you getting? These are negligible. So, instead of saying, okay, I can take from here to there, from the T u to the T f or the uh, x minus infinity to x is equal to infinity, I can say. Because if you look at the area, right, because this area is very, very small and it is why it is so, I will come to later on, but let us also we can discuss now that is um, uh, if you look at activation energy, right, E by R u t, we will be discussing that unless the temperature is having that higher, you cannot have any term from that. So, therefore, this will be very small term. But however, it will be finite, it is not that exactly 0, it will be approximately 0 or it is as compared to the heat release in the reaction zone is very, very uh, what you call uh, higher in the heat release rate at the reaction zone is much higher as compared to the heat release in the preheat zone. That is the thing we have already discuss right so therefore i am saying instead of taking this t ignition to t f, uh, t ignition to tf integrating i can say that making sense okay so now this if you look at and uh, keep in mind that i can uh, cancel also this minus sign right then i can say let me tell you this is 13 the by sim equation 13 becomes right. I am just rewriting that equation that is all d t by d x ignition is equal to right delta S c 2 delta S c Mm, there is a little problem like uh, 2 square, this will be square, okay. Delta SC by kg TU by TF m dot triple dash F dt. So, uh, I can write down this as dt by dx. Ignition right is equal to root over two delta S C by K G T U by T F M dot triple dash F D T right. This is I am saying equation fourteen. Now we have already derived this uh, you know expression for temperature gradient at x is equal to 0 or ignition point right. You can see the equation 11 right. By using equation number 11 right in equation 14, we can get C p by k g t ignition minus t u is equal to root over 2 delta S c by k g integrated t u by t f double dash f d t. Right. So, uh, I can say this is uh, basically equation 15 kind of things. What we will do now, we will have to now basically invoke the uh, continuity equation, right. Because here the mass flux is there, that mass flux is equal to basically rho u s l. Why we are doing? 
because we want to find out a relationship for burning velocity that is SL. Right, SL means basically burning velocity for laminar flame, hmm. laminar premix flame. <coughs> so, uh, from equation 7, right, that is a continuity equation, we know that m dot double dash is equal to rho u s l, right. And uh, we can also derive, we can also find out delta s c is approximately equal to nu plus 1 c p t f minus t q. Right. That uh, I think I have given as an assignment, you can do that, it is a very simple thing. Right. So, by using by substituting the above expressions in equation 15 we can get S L is basically uh, is equal to K G by rho u C P T I Z minus T u right root over 2 nu plus 1 C p T f minus T u divided by K g T u T f d t. Is it fine? Okay. Now, keep in mind, let me tell this is 16. Keep in mind that this uh, um, we will have to simplify a little further also, right. I can say that uh, I can assume that T f let us consider that T f is equal to 0 0.75. Let us consider T ignition as 0 point T f plus 0 point 0.25 T u. I can write down this as T i z minus T u is equal to 0 0.75 T f plus 0 0.25 T u minus T u which is nothing but your 0 0.75 T f minus T u, right. So, by that I can write down the T i z minus T u divided by T f minus T u is equal to 0 0.75 is equal to 3 by 4. This is an again an approximation because I want to relate the T ignition with the T f and T u, right. <coughs> so, if you uh, substitute these values in equation 6, uh, 16, right. So, I can say this is 17, okay. Using equation 17 in equation 16, we can have S L. What I am doing in this uh, expression basically I am taking this term, this term right into the root. What I will get is basically K G square into rho U square C P square right. In place of T ignition and T U, I will be putting basically uh, 16 by 16 by 9 
uh, 1 over that is T f minus T u whole square right and uh, 2 mu plus 1 C p T f minus T u k g T u T f m dot f d t. Now, this will cancel it out k g will cancel it out c p will cancel it out right. So, I can write down that as s l is equal to basically k g by rho u c p. Uh, I can write down 32 by 9 Mm -hmm. Just hold on, hold on. I am coming. <coughs> Nu plus 1, right, and rho u, T u, T f, m dot f, d t. Keep in mind that this I will be considering as a alpha. What is alpha? Thermal diffusivity. Uh, I must also tell that k g will be evaluated at the average uh, temperature right kind of things which will take an example and do, but T u will be evaluated at the ambient uh, inlet temperature right and C p will be evaluated at the average temperature. I will take an example to illustrate that point right. So, uh, I can write down this as alpha Mm, okay. Yes, yes, you are right. <coughs> I will consider this as basically thirty two by uh, nine alpha by rho nu plus one, right, one over. T f minus T u, T u by T f, f d t. Keep in mind that this I can write down as 32 by 9 alpha rho nu plus 1 m triple dash f average. So, where the triple dash f average is equal to what is that 1 by T f minus T u T u T f m dot triple dash f d t is equal to basically m w f a f c f n 1 c oxidizer n 2 e power to the r u t. Right. And this is from the Arrhenius relationship. I can say this portion the average mass conjunction of fuel per unit volume is nothing but that. Right. And uh, if you look at uh, we can get this uh, you know A f is your pre exponential factor and C f is the concentration of fuel, C oxidizer is the concentration of oxidizer, E is the activation energy. R u is the universal gas constant, T is the temperature right. So, uh, from this what you can get is basically S l is a function of what? What is its function? Its function of basically phi or the fuel air ratio or the right because nu is coming na nu is the nu you know na like one mole of fuel is reacting with new moles of oxidizer going to the product of nu plus one of product okay so therefore the equivalence ratio comes over there and it is also a function of t u because rho u is there this is you can say rho u right rho u 
and uh, it is also a function of pu unbent pressure right of course in this case pressure is remaining almost constant right and it is also uh, you know depending on the inert addition like suppose you are replacing nitrogen with argon or helium or other things so these are the things which you will get from the simple uh, you know expression and uh, which we will be looking at particularly looking at the uh, considering the experimental data later on. And in the next lecture, uh, I will be uh, taking an example how to calculate the burning velocity. Thank you very much.